Hey there, fellas. All right. You remember this car that we... bit at a hydraulic drive to, right? It was only able to drive like about 20 meters and that's it. I gotta admit, we were a bit disappointed. But no worries, after all, it was only a first attempt. Here's how I suggest we follow it up. Now, because it put quite a lot of stress onto the engine, which the latter was unable to cope with, I think this is what we need to do in order to make life a whole lot easier for it. For it to have less trouble spinning the pump. We need to fit something on this end to reduce the rotational speed. You would have seen the wheels spinning really fast when we tried it on the lift. So, yeah, the system has to be relieved. One way to do that would be to... install another differential for some extra reduction and connect the hydraulic drive to that. And do some testing, of course. Right, let us commence installation. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Torque transfer via liquid, we got it to work. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's the situation. The whole thing is misaligned. Oh man. And I thought we did a good job with the machining. Are the wheels spinning fast? Not really. There you have it. Might as well switch it off. Okay, so we've set the system up properly. I think we did a great job. 
You would have seen us testing it on the lift, that's without any load, and it works. You can definitely tell that this motor is having less of a hard time, and so is that one. Night, let's go for a drive. Right. I forgot how I operated this last time. I think I was doing this. A bit more, just a little bit more. Until I get to the point. Yay! Now we're talking. The car moves. Yeah, awesome. But you know what I'd like to do? This just kinda seems wrong to me. Because I'm having to simultaneously keep the revs on the car's engine somewhat high, right? while modulating the hydraulic system at the same time. And honestly, doing both things at once isn't particularly convenient. Actually, it is really inconvenient. And I stalled it. Now, obviously, in the garage we were on a smooth surface, but here, out on the snow, it's actually been snowing for a couple of days now. And the conditions aren't gonna allow us to drive all that far, I think. No, no, it's actually doing fine. Now, this is just too inconvenient. The burbling coming from the bucket is actually quite frightening. But then the pump is rated at 100 liters per minute, I think it is. Anyway, moving along. What the... Wait, didn't I crank the revs up? What gives? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to get used to it then. All right, now the gearing is spot on. Greetings. Do you have a handle like this one? I do. Really? Yeah. Show me. What's up? Mine's different. And we're off. I'm not even opening it all the way. Let's try flipping around. Come on now. No? Well, okay. Yeah, no way to back up. Yeah, that is not convenient. But no worries. That's a weak-ass lever. Say what? I said that's a weak lever. The lever's fine. You feel like a big man in that Hummer? 
Posers. There you are. Let me give it some more. Will it go full tilt, though? Got it. What can I tell you? Twenty five kilometers an hour, and the car is overheating. I gotta let it cool off. Let's make a run for it. Oh, that's 30. We are hauling. Haven't gone this fast in a while. But the engine is hot. Oh my, what happened? What's the matter? There's oil pouring onto me. Better close the window. Because I do not want it to spill into the cabin. The pressure was really high, you say? The hose popped off. That's the f***ing return line. You should have secured it. It was secured. I clamped it down. Okay, so here's the situation. We are looking really good here. Here's what happened. Somebody might have been pressing the gas too hard. And apparently it was me. Well, it's definitely a powerful pump. Beating the hydraulic drive. I think the return line is too small. Though there shouldn't be any pressure in there in the first place. I guess the pump is generating it. I mean, there's a lot of oil going through the drive, and the hose popped off with how much flow there was. Which is unfortunate, but what can you do? We lost a bit of oil, but not that much, so I think we can just keep going. What do you think? Do we have enough oil? We don't seem to have lost a whole lot. No, man, it's definitely not seven. It's four or five tops. It's a good thing I noticed in time. How the oil began to pour out. I did have the window open, which certainly helped. Yeah, this looks good. Nice. The door card is all shiny. We've done a bit of detailing. The door card is like new. In any case, I don't think this should stop us, so let's continue on our way. Here we go. I expected... Oh, there we are. All the way open and just modulate the gas pedal. Wow, that's idle on the engine, holy cow. Not bad. This is pretty cool. I can take my foot off the gas and... Uh, this is exactly how I would have wanted it to work. You press the gas, the speed increases. You lift, it decreases. And we're back. Which is nice. Overall, this was a great one, I reckon. The car was able to drive. Though honestly, I didn't believe it would after that initial attempt. Well, at the very least, the engine we're running... I meant to say the hydraulic drive, of course. It is... actually doing something. And it's even providing some decent power. Hydraulics are a pretty cool thing. The pump was generating some serious pressure. 
but it was severely overstressing the engine, even with the double reduction we got set up. We might have been better off tripling it, I guess, but that would have meant a lot of throttle input. As it is, you would have seen the engine overheating and rather quickly, too. And no surprise with that much load. So in the end, we got the car to drive with no gearbox, and that is awesome. Somebody in the comments actually suggested we mount it on the gearbox, so that we could change gears and adjust the revs that way. But honestly, that didn't seem like an interesting proposition, because if you have a gearbox, then what's the point in the hydraulic pump, drive and the rest of it? As is, we got a working setup and it is good. We made it work, fellows. Now let's think of what else we can try. So feel free to send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.